Yeah, you read it right. You read it right. Jose Altuve is a different player without the trash can bang. I'm going to go ahead and say it. And I know Astros fans, mainly, are not going to be happy. But Jose Altuve is a different player without the trash can bang. So in this video, I'm going to prove to you why Jose Altuve is a different player without the trash can bang. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Link to my other channel in the description below. And let's go ahead and get into this video. So his first year with the Trash Can Bakers was in 2011. He had two home runs, 12 RBIs, and a 276 batting average that year. I'm not denying that that's bad, but it's not as good as his numbers when the Trash Can Banging starts. 2012, he had seven home runs, 37 RBIs, and a 290 batting average. In 2013, he had five home runs, 52 RBIs, and a, three, and a 283 batting average. In 2014, he had a good season, a 341 batting average, 7 home runs, and 59 RBIs. And in 2015, 15 home runs, 66 RBIs, and a 313 batting average. So his years before the trash came back in 2015 and 2016 were still very good. But you can see where it really skyrockets from where the trash can bang started. In 2016, he had 24 home runs, 96 RBIs, and a 338 batting average. Now 2017 with the trash can banging started. He had a 346 batting average, 24 home runs, and 81 RBIs. And maybe may, you can argue that 2016 was a better year, and I would agree with you on that. But in 2018, he had 13 home runs, 61 RBIs, and 316 batting average. He was injured for most of that year, so it makes sense. But in 2019, you really see where the trash can banging is making him a better player. 31 home runs, 74 RBIs, and a 298 batting average. Now, you cannot tell me that he is a different player from before the trash campaign. And he's just a different player. When when you put the trash can banging for Jose Altuve, he was a different player. And for me, going off his 2020 stats, which he has 3 home runs, 12 RBIs, and a 206 batting average. It seems a lot like me. He was one of the players that was benefiting the most, the most, from this trash can banging that the Houston Astros had going on. And obviously, Carlos Beltran was a player that was rumored to do it the most. But man, it seems like Jose Altuve was doing, doing it quite a bit too. So you could not argue that Jose Altuve is not a different player without the trash can bang. I've got the stats to prove it and... He's a different player without the trash can banging. 2017 through 2019 were the trash can banging years. You can go on Baseball Reference or wherever you go to get your stats. Um, that he's a different player. He's a different player. It's facts. He is a different player without this trash can banging. And um, he's a different player. And maybe they had the buzzers too, which could have gave him even more help. And it seemed like in 2019 they were doing it the most from looking at the stats. 2019 and 2017, they were doing it a lot. And let's see how many... So he played 137 in 2018, which doesn't mean he played the whole season. Um, but in 2019, he had 124 games and still got 31 home runs and 74 RBIs. That is ridiculous. And you can't tell me that there's something with that that they weren't using buzzers or they weren't using trash cans to bank and cheat. I don't even think Jose Altuve should be playing this year. I think he should be suspended for one year. And I'm going to say that because Jose Altuve should be suspended. There's no reason why cheaters should be playing in Major League Baseball. There's no room for cheaters in Major League Baseball. And you cheat and you screwed Aaron Judge out of an MVP in 2017, as well as screw them out of a World Series, and here's and here's my punishment for the Astros, and I've probably said this in a video before, but here's a little update on my punishment. Seeing now in 2020, halfway through the season, how much this has affected the Houston Astros after they have, after they banged on trash cans, tells me that they were banging on trash cans a lot. I think they should have never played this season. They should have been suspended 60 games, every single one of them. There's no reason why trash can bangers can play like that, like this, and not get any punishment. And Rob Manfred did nothing to them. Nothing. Um, 
I'm just going to go ahead and say that. And maybe he does more to the Red Sox. Who knows? But this is ridiculous that his stats went up this much in 2017 through 2019 because of the trash can banging. It is ridiculous to me that his stats went up this much. And you see how much every year since the start of his MLB career, he has had an above 276 batting average. And that was his lowest batting average. This year he has a 206 batting average. Was he banging on trash cans for maybe even a whole decade? I know it may seem extreme, but was he? And then you look at his hit pitch rate. In 2017, the first year of the trash can banging, nine hit pitches, six in 2018, and three in 2019. Um, so that says something, too, if you ask me. And let's just look at his hits. 2017, 204. 2018, 169. 149 to 2019. 26 so far this year. Um... And I'm, and I'm really thinking, did they even bang on trash cans of 2016, too? Because 216 RBIs, 24 home runs, 96 RBIs, 30 stolen bases, 10 caught, 338 batting average. That's a lot. And you could argue that that was better than 2019, which would be his second best year, in my opinion. So 2017, really 2014 through 2017, he all had... Seasons with 200 hits or above, which is quite a bit. Um, I mean, you just can't deny that the trash can banging was helping them quite a bit as a team. And um, it, that's just facts. It was helping them a lot. Um, and let's go ahead and look at some other players that are really suffering right now from not getting to bang on that trash can which I'm sure Astros fans are going to be mad about this video and I whatever um you should be more mad at your team than me because your team was the one that made the decision to bang on trash cans I didn't say um I didn't call up the Astros and be like go bang on trash cans for three years no so your team's actions have done made made me make this video. So yeah. Um so let's go ahead and look at some other players on this team. You've got Yuli Goriel. And he has five home runs, 13 RBIs, and a 296 batting average, so he's not suffering too much from the trash can bang. He was one of the players that are least banging on trash cans, apparently. Correa, three home runs, 19 RBIs, and a 288 batting average. He's not suffering too much. Bregman, four home runs, 14 RBIs, and a 272 batting average. Okay. Michael Brantley was not on that team. Um, Josh Reddick, um... One home run, 11 RBIs, and a 275 batting average. One that I saw go up a lot was Jake Marisnik. Four home runs, 15 RBIs, and a 193 batting average for George Springer. Definitely George Springer was benefiting a lot from the trash can banging. Let's look at Martin Maldonado, their catcher. Three home runs, 17 RBIs, and a 247 batting average. I'm not even sure if Martin Maldonado was on that team. In 2017, um, he might have been. I'm not exactly sure. Let me see if he was on that team. He was... I think he might have been on the Angels that year. And then, obviously, there were some rumors, too, that Kurt Suzuki and other players knew that the trash can banging was happening. I mean, man, if you're getting warned around the league that this trash can banging is happening, too... So Jose Altuve definitely is been a, was benefiting one of the most from that trash can bang that the Astros did. And you can argue with me not, but I believe that with the stats that I've proven, I have proven that Jose Altuve is a better player with trash can bang. A lot better of a player. 
So that's my, um, Jose Altuve is a different player without the trash campaign. That's my proof. That's my video. Um, so that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Link to my other channels in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back with more videos soon.